Hey, look who decided to join me on the hike today. Welcome, Bronx. Glad to see you're getting after your New Year's resolutions as well. He's such a boob. He won't walk outside of my track, so he has to wait for me to go, and then he just hops along in my tracks. <laughs> he doesn't want to get his feet cold or something. What was he? Come on, let's go. We're going to the top today. You ready? You ready for it? Only halfway there. I'm surprisingly sore today from our hike yesterday, guys. Are you sore after going on that big long hike? It was a good one. Today's gonna be a little bit longer. Hopefully we'll be able to get to that peak I was showing you yesterday. Cause that's the goal. Super exciting day today. I'm getting my hair done and I am so excited. I know I say that a lot, but I am really excited because it is long overdue. I've been really surprised when I see pictures of myself or a video because I just think, wow, that really made my hair look dark. And then I realized that my hair is really dark. It's been about a year and a half since I've like highlighted my hair. And so it's brown. This is my natural color and it's gotten so much darker. Um, so anyways, I'm in Utah, Winston and I, he's in the back there. Um, I'm still coming to Utah to get my hair done because my good friend does it. And I don't know anyone in Pocatello to do my hair. And my biggest fear is that someone's going to fry my hair off. I try really hard to keep my hair as healthy as possible. And so I'm just nervous. Anyways, I'm running late because it was super, super foggy driving here. I could hardly see. And um, it's cold and so the roads could be icy so I couldn't drive very fast. And I'm running late so I'm gonna hurry in there and I'm so excited. All right, I got the foils in. And we are just processing now. And Winston's being dick and nice boy. <laughs> he's so confused. He's like, what is going on and what is in your hair and what is that lady doing to you? And now what are we doing? It's so crazy. So crazy, huh? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm so excited to be blonder. Winston's teeth. You see him? He's asleep. That little buck right there. Is that freaking awesome? Right above my house. Is that cool, Bronxy? Is that cool? He wants to chase them. One thing I need to say is, if you're out hiking, especially in the winter, like we are up here, and this is where the deer tend to come winter, I'm guessing, but uh, you don't want to really bump them. I try to stay away from them as much as I can because this is like their time of year where they really need to fatten up. Um, hopefully they're already fattened up, but uh, I mean, it, it's a long, tough winter, and if the more you harass the, the wildlife, the less chance they have to making it through, so just be careful. Watch them from a long ways away, and uh, don't let your dogs chase them. No chasing the animals, Bronxy. No, not chasing the deer. We did it, dudes. We made it to the top. We summited. Yeah, this is about the highest point around. We said those mountains, but they're way too far. But behind our house, this is, this is the peak. I call it the peak. I call it my peak. Anyway, yeah, we did it. In the snow. Great exercise. Took me a lot longer than I thought. I've been gone already two and a half hours. We'll probably end up being about a six mile hike total. Oh, look who decided to join us finally. This guy. He's really taking his sweet time. Hey, bud. I honestly think you've smelled this. Uh, I followed some mountain lion tracks the last couple hundred yards up here. I think you can smell it. Um, looks like a pretty big cat, from what I know. Okay, I'm trying to find a good track to show you. So, that looks like a pretty good track to me. Pretty good mountain lion. I don't know. Pretty rad we have mountain lions up here. I should start packing my gun. I don't want to come face to face with one of those, a mean one especially. That's why I brought Bronx up, but I don't know, I think he might turn around and run for home. Would you Would you protect me against the mountain lion? Probably not. Yep, definitely not. Kaylee is dropping mine grenades on me right now. I love salad, I really do. I'm a meat eater, but I love salad. I always tell Kaylee if I could eat one thing, it would be a really delicious salad with a beautiful elk backstrap cut up and put on it. But the problem is with salad, let me show you real quick. Mm, yeah. You should have put this in the video. We just shot a video for um, I made this salad four days ago, right? Yeah, four days ago. Big, beautiful salad. Put it in the fridge, put some tin foil over it, and look at it already. It does not look appetizing, it's all brown. 
I'm still eating it because I'm like, I spent way too much money on that salad not to eat it. But look at this. I'm just gonna give you a little hint because you gotta wait for her video to come out. Boom! Salad in a jar. She can make salads for what, for all week? Uh-huh. And throw them in there? I recommend eating them before a week. I'm not so sorry. Is this like one salad? Yeah. That looks like a giant salad. Normally I would want a bigger jar. Really? I couldn't find the wide mouth ones. You want a bigger salad than that? This is a pint and a half. You want like a quart. Heck yeah. So she's going to put these videos up, but I'm excited because every day I can just come home because I'm trying to eat healthy and be in shape and fit. Mm -hmm. Every day I can go on my hike or go on my run, come home because I eat salad for lunch. Come home. Boop, 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 boop. Eat some salad with yeah, a yeah. back strap. Right. You can eat them like in the jar. You can just shake them up or you can just pour them in a bowl. But it's kind of fun to eat out of this jar, right? That's always fun to eat out of a jar. Anyway, so she's doing that video. We just finished it. Good job, I'm Way to go. Boom. Just finished it. What's going on? <laughs> he was rolling on Winston and he was cracking up, but now he doesn't want to lay down. Lay down! Oh my goodness. What's going on? This is his cute little outfit that Braley got him for Christmas. It's so cute. Oh, I know. I know. I know! He's like, yeah, roll on me again. <laughs> oh, I know! Casey LaVere does.